I am driving the all-new Maserati Ghibli Trofeo, and of course, when I have a 580 horsepower Maserati, it decides to start raining, but we will do the best that we can. So the Trofeo line is the top tier, most potent performance versions of the Maseratis. They had the Levante Trofeo first that came out, and now they've added it to the sedans, the Ghibli and the Quattroporte. Now this, what is the Trofeo? Well, more power. What is the engine? Well, it's a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 that's built by Ferrari in Marinello for Maserati. So you could say this has a Ferrari V8 and a Ghibli. The first time the Ghibli has gotten a V8 and it makes it the fastest, 203 mile an hour top speed. <laughs> that twin turbo V8 makes 580 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque combined with a ZF8 speed transmission and it's rear wheel drive only which is why I've been very much struggling for traction while it's raining in a 580 horsepower twin turbo Maserati. Let's take a look at the exterior of the Ghibli Trofeo. So up front we have the blacked out grille with the Maserati Trident, which is such an iconic logo. I remember just like doodling that whenever I could when I was younger, because it just looks so cool. Some carbon fiber here on the front splitter. We also have a unique hood for the Trofeo models, these two vents, makes it a little more aggressive. And then around the side, these big wheels with red brake calipers behind them. And the Trofeo badge, obviously, but also red accents on the side air vents. Coming on the side, we've got a little Italian flag accent there. Another Maserati Trident with the red accent again for the Trofeo. And then coming around back, we've got new taillights, uh, boomerang styled taillights too. Maserati Ghibli, no Trofeo badges around the back though. Quad exhaust tips, a little bit of carbon fiber on that diffuser. Inside the Ghibli, we've got some carbon fiber accents on the door. Some sculpted leather there, Bowers and Wilkins sound system, some red contrast. The start stop button is actually on the left side of the steering wheel, hiding down there. Big carbon fiber paddle shifters that are fixed in place on the column. Those are definitely nice. Analog tachometer and speedometer, as you can see, 350 kilometers an hour. <laughs> New 10.1 inch digital screen that it just works. It looks great, it works really well. That's all I'm asking for. In the Maserati, you've got an analog dash clock there. That's always a nice touch, makes it feel a little more elegant and classy. And then on the sporty side, carbon fiber all across this center console area, transmission selector, climate control. And then we've got some uh, like driving control things, traction control, auto stop start, ICE. It looks like an acronym, I-C-E which could stand for internal combustion engine, but I feel like it, it's just ice mode, like when it's cold. Because then below that we have Sport and Corsa. You can actually hear the exhaust open up a bit. Dampers, adaptive dampers. The seats have Trofeo here on the headrests. You got back seats and this really cool pattern here too. I think you can get like the Zigna leather that's like woven on the Trofeo as an option. This one does not have it. There we go, the inside of the Trofeo. Let's uh, Open the windows and give it a couple revs because it is a twin turbo V8, right? It's got to sound good. Back to driving inside the Trofeo. This thing's a lot of fun. Adding a twin turbo V8 wakes it up. It's it's a handful, especially rear wheel drive. And again, it's unfortunately raining decently hard right now. So traction is not my friend with rear wheel drive only. Uh, I, I really wish they had just come out with this type of iteration when it first came out um, with the Ghibli. And this is what it should be. It should be over the top, just excitement, excessiveness. That's why you buy a Maserati. Even if it's a Maserati sedan, you want it just to be extra. You're choosing a Maserati for the flair because you don't want the more conventional, serious, almost boring feeling at times, uh, Germans like an AMG or a BMW M, and you want to be unique with your Maserati. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, no traction. Anyways, I hope to get to spend some more time with a Ghibli Trofeo at some point when it's not raining and get the experience it more thoroughly, but hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video with the new Ghibli Trofeo.